Father God, we thank you for your word that it shows us that Satan will try and keep us in bondage when like the Israelites were being freed and you were leading them away. After a while, you hardened his hearts and Satan and the captains tried to get them back, Try to get them back. We know the devil won't just sit there and let us leave, Father God, and let us be free, Father God. We know the devil will try to attack us, but your glory, your glory will be seen. You said, why did you harden Pharaoh's heart so your glory could be seen in many new generations, Father God? So we thank you that our afflictions, we can have testimonies of your glory, testimonies of how many times you stood by us, how many times you've led us away from captivity, how much times you've rescued us, Lord. We thank you that the afflictions are for good use for future generations. Lord. We thank you that you are hardening Pharaoh's heart, that future generations will know how glorified you are and how powerful you are. We thank you that you meet our needs. Some of these Israelites, they don't, didn't trust you. They know there's a God, but we pray we can trust you. So they need to go through all these experiences so that they could trust you and they could rely on you and know there's no God like you, Jesus. No God like you. So we thank you, Father God, for all the things that you are doing, Father God. And we pray that we are not like the Israelites. It doesn't take us so many miracles and so many things to trust you that we will lean onto your word. We will lean onto your instruction. And we pray we won't be moaning, thinking about, oh, we should have just stayed where we are when we're forgetting the good things you're doing so future generations will also trust you. In Jesus' name we pray.